Okay, so it's the middle of the year. It's now time for my mid-year makeup inventory update. So let's begin. Let's first start with primers. So I have two primers. On uh, the beginning of the year, I only had one. This one, I only had this sample of the Milk Makeup Hide the Grip. But I liked it. So I decided to buy the full price. The, the full bottle, rather. So now I have two. This one is nearly empty. I only use this when I'm traveling. That's why it's taking a long time to use up. But essentially, they're just one the same i just use this when i'm traveling this one when i'm when i'm at home so yeah my, i don't really have a goal for my makeup inventory anymore i just want it to not be um too overwhelming and two primers for me is okay and this one is also about to be done so essentially i only have one primer so that's it for the primer the foundation category increased a lot but I expected that because I bought a lot of foundations that are not available in the Philippines so I have in here um, eight foundations and beginning of the year I only had five foundations and um, these were my original five the Estee Lauder the Bare Minerals, the L'Oreal, the Pretty Fresh, and the Tower 28. And then the Cosas one um, was released, so I bought this, and as well as the Wayne Goss. So these two, so these are the two new ones, and then I also bought a backup, a backup of this Tower 28 um, Sunny Days, because it's not available in the Philippines, so I had to stock up. So that's why I have eight. Um, eight foundations is okay for me. I I go through a lot. I go through foundations mm, in normal base. Um, this one is less than half. This one I'm using all of this. I usually mix them and. It just depends on the weather in the Philippines. Sometimes I use powder, sometimes I use tinted. Uh, this amount of foundation is okay for me. It's not problematic. And I, I still have time to rotate through all of them. So, not really a problem for me. And then concealer. Still, I still have one spot concealer. It's the same Laura Mercier. Um, secret camouflage so it's this one I use this for my um, spots that's why it's taking a long time the packaging is broken but the product still works and then as for the under eye concealer beginning of the year I had four and now I only have three I decluttered the the color pop pretty fresh concealer because it was the wrong shade and undertone for me and it was separating in the bottle in the tube even though I it was new so I just decluttered that and right now I'm okay with this if I want a little bit lighter coverage I go for the Glossier I mix these two together G6 and G9 and then if I want something a bit heavier or a bit fuller coverage I'd go for my Cosas one and I'm holding myself back from buying more concealers because the Cosas, found, Cosas concealer is um, it's a clean brand so it does not have preservatives so I want to use this up as much as I can before it goes bad that's why I'm not buying any concealers so this it, that's it for my concealer and then as for the powder it increased um, I have two MAC um, studio fix the other one is in my bag which I'm too lazy to get but that one is like my purse uh, press powder for touch ups and then this one is when this one is really in my drawer for when I need to really set my face with a uh, colored setting powder so I have two MAC fix plus I bought them in a buy one get one so I didn't buy a backup it 
was just a buy one get one. And then this is the Wayne Goss Weightless Powder. I didn't have any powder before. So I decided to just buy one. And then this one just arrived for the Sephora birthday gift. So this, these two are the additions. Last January, I only had two powders which are this, the MAC. Fix plus that I have those two pressed powders but now I have two loose powders so these are the additions four powders that can be a bit too much but I have oily skin so I don't mind and all of these have different purpose like this one I need them for a bit more coverage setting powder and then this one just for like a very um light setting of the foundation it doesn't really mattify my face but this one really mattifies so they have different purposes now as for the mascara i always have just one mascara opened at a time but now this one is my next in line mascara but i still haven't opened it but i'm just gonna con count it as one as well so no change in mascara i'm pretty good with mascaras and then eyebrows so last update I had three eyebrows and then now I still have three eyebrow makeup open eyebrow makeup but it's not the same because I used to have two deep brows the other one the medium brown I just used up in my project pan so this one is now the only pomade that I have this is in the shade dark brown and this is the same uh, precision brow pencil but this one I just opened after the uh, after the beginning of the year inventory so the numbers are the same but it's not the same product this one is the additional one and then eyeliners I have three um, beginning of the year I only had two but now I have three and these are not the same. Beginning of the year, I had the Sephora, this one Sephora Call pencil. But I also had this another Sephora gel liner. That one I used up. So I replaced it with this Marc Jacobs black eyeliner. But I, I needed a little bit of like a brownish eyeliner. So I also opened my Urban, Urban Decay br mm, Whiskey eyeliner. So... It increased to 3, from 2 to 3, but they're not exactly the same product. This one is the only product from that last update. And then, eyeshadows. I, I count my eyeshadows per pan rather than just per palette because it's just easier for me since even if if I if I count them per palette, even if I use up one shadow, my numbers will remain the same, and um, it's just a little bit demotivating. So now I count all of my eyeshadows, whether it be powders or creams, as one eyeshadow. So these are all of my eyeshadows. I have. These are new. These are new palettes in my collection: the Viseart, Lapi, and Bouillon. So I have eight additionals. Eight additionals, and then I also count my cream shadows as one, one per pencil. And this one is a new one together with the Laura Mer together with the Laura Mercier powder. This one is a new addition from the birthday gift Sephora. And then I also have in here my Natasha Denona palettes. And then my Solchi in Prism. So all in all I have 64 individual eyeshadows. In the beginning of the year, I only had 54 and then now it's 64. I decluttered a palette which is like a Z palette. And I also have empty pants here. 
but I added eight more eyeshadows that's why my numbers have increased even though I decluttered some so that's it for my eyeshadows not too much 64 is still manageable but I yeah the 64 it's okay for me I don't want to add more except if it's if the palette is really exceptional but it just even though I only have 64 eyeshadows I just don't go through a lot of shadows so I'm really picky with adding more to my collection. Highlighters. It's the same. It's the same three. Last year I had three. This begin of the year I had three. And now I still have three. The, this opal one was a part of my project pan and um, I already hit pan on it just a tiny bit but at least there's some progress and um, I am trying to unofficially empty this Becca champagne pop because this one is old this one was before it became permanent yeah, because initial champagne pop was limited edition, so I bought it in 2016. So it's very old, and I'm using it as a I'm using it as a cream highlighter. That's why I'm scraping it. So I'm hoping that by using it as a cream highlighter, I'm gonna use it up by this year. And then this one is my lilac geode. I can't bear to declutter this because sometimes I like highlighters. It's not, it's not really essential in my routine, but sometimes I feel like glamming up my look. But most of the time, but most of the time, I'm really not. I'm really skipping highlighters. It's just not necessary in my routine, especially since I have oily skin. But I just can't bear to part with this because I bought them so expensive before, so I can't part with that money. And then for my contour or bronzers, I used to have five, but I used up the Physicians Formula Bronze Booster, so now I only have four. This one is actually a depotted milk makeup bronzer. I'm just putting it here because the packaging already broke. And I used to have two of this that contained the bronzer from the milk makeup but i used up the other the other pan so this one is left and then i have two minis of the nars laguna the other one is in my pouch so i'm i'm a bit lazy to get it but now i only have four four bronzers the, the milk makeup bronzer mark jacobs and two of the nars powder mini powder laguna and i have two because i have two accounts in sephora yeah this was the birthday gift last year and yeah i have four but i'm planning on getting the nars cream bronzer in laguna so this will increase by the end of the year i'm pretty sure but so far so good because most of my bronzers are mini anyway this one is the only big one and then this one is probably one of my biggest yeah this one is one of my top three biggest um category and of course it's the blush let's first start with the powders so these are all of my powders all of my powders this one is my only very expensive powder blush and it's okay it's not really like um, the best I still reach for my essence blushes more than my Pat McGrath so I'm not really tempted with more of her blushes it's okay but it's not really worth the price and I even bought that on sale but these are all of my powder 
blushes and then my these are my creams honest beauty tower 28 i have two milk makeup blushes two apu juicy pang this used to this used to be three i used up one so that's less in my numbers and then i have in here more creams so beginning of the year i had 27 blushes and then now i only have 20 blushes um i use i used up one the the cr02 of the juicy pang from my project pan and then the rest i decluttered and then this one is also nearly empty so so that's one more blush out of my collection and then some of these are also on the chopping block so uh, I so expect this number to go down sometime this year again I'm just waiting I'm just testing out some of the items in the chopping block before I do a declutter but from 27 to 20 that's still a lot that's a lot of blushes but 20 blush is still a lot but yeah I'm just not really in the mood to declutter right now so I'm just keeping all of this and then lip pencils I have six beginning of the year I also had six so I thought that I would use up this max subculture but no it's still there but this this uh, number it's okay six lip liners it's okay they're all very usable they're all nude so there's really no rush for me to use them up six lip liners it, that's okay for me five to six it's okay but I would like to have one or two two more reds here so yeah i'm gonna buy some more i'm not sure if it's this year or next year but i need a red so yeah but i hope to use up one or two more lip liners this year but still the number is already overwhelming And then as for my lipsticks, these are my Sunny Slip Dips, Colourpop Blotted, Colourpop Lux Liquids, Viola de Four, Sunny's Face again, Sunny's Face Lip Trips. And Glossier, L'Oreal, L'Oreal, and then this one is, it was a free gift with purchase, this one is from 3CE. So all in all, my lipstick collection from 36, it's now 27. There's one more in my pouch as usual, but I'm too lazy to get it. It's the NARS lip balm from 2021 birthday gift set so i have 37 lipsticks right now from 36 so i haven't used up any lipsticks this year the decrease in the number were was all because of the clutter and um Right now, I'm thinking of doing another declutter for my lipsticks as well, together with my blushes, because those are really my problematic areas. But so 27, I'd like to minim to lessen that number first, but I am in no rush to do it. As long as it won't increase to 30, I'm okay. I would like to downsize this to around 20, but. Um, again, no rush because these are all usable and I rotate through all of my lipsticks. And also, most of these are lip balms. So, once I I go to a colder climate, I'm 
I'm pretty sure I'm gonna use up more of my lip balms and it's so easy to go through lip balms so I'm expecting the numbers to go down anyway and yeah that's it for my collection it's a lot for one person but it's really not too much compared to how my collection was before and also to how most people that do YouTube content beauty content have so all in all my numbers before beginning of the year was 100 150 rather and my numbers now is 148 some of the categories really increased while some really decreased so yeah so these are all of my um, makeup laid out this is my eyeshadows cheeks lips and base makeup and pencils so there so i hope you guys enjoyed this video and don't forget to like and subscribe and i'll see you in my next one bye